and welcome once again. Security operatives have raided the Abuja home of the Supreme Court Justice Mary Odili. Justice Odili is the wife of Peter Odili, a former governor of River State, who is currently on the watch list of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC. The security operatives made up of soldiers and officers of the Nigeria Police Force identify themselves as members of a joint task force. The operatives claims they received information on illegal activities going on in the House. The judge, who is currently second on the list of the Supreme Court hierarchy, is expected to be involved in the appointment of a seven-member panel, which will make a final pronouncement on the value-added tax controversy involving some states and the federal government. Meanwhile, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the DSS have in separate statements denied that they carried out any operation whatsoever in Justice Odili's home. Well, let's cross to the residence of the Supreme Court Justice from where Arise News correspondent Toby Shoni gives us a clearer picture of what is transpiring there. Hello, Toby. Bring us up to speed. What exactly is going there? Uh, going on there? Uh, the ESCC has denied sending its operatives there. So, who are the men there? <laughs> there, that that is a one million naira question. <laughs> Nobody seems to know who exactly ordered the raid and who actually carried out the raid. But what is certain is that there are police who are in police uniform, there are militaries and there are DSS at, according to our findings. But now that everyone is denying, that is very, it's not funny. But what, what is the situation now is that the place is calm. The, many of the security operatives have since left, but there are still well wishers, families, friends from who are, I mean, uh, who have come to sympathize with justice. Uh, Mrs. Odili, but many of them declined to speak on camera. However, for those who chose to speak with us, with, I mean, uh, outside camera, they warned that the federal government has not been able to resolve the crisis in the southeast, and it will be causing a lot of crisis if, you, if they choose to add the Niger Delta into it. But nobody wants to speak on camera, but there is calm now. The place is peaceful. We don't know whether they will come back, but as I've talked to you now, this place is calm. You can also see some visuals of the gate. Thank you. So, Toby, uh, let's get this. to know whether you got a view of uh, Mary Odili, that's the former governor's wife, or the husband, or any of the members of the family around, and whether you were able to probably chat with any of them. Yeah, they, they did want to speak on camera earlier, but a, a family member has agreed to speak to us. Can you kindly identify yourself, sir? My name is Right Honorable Igwaguma, yeah. a former member of the House of Representatives yeah. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am indeed distraught at what I have seen here today. It's unfortunate that a judicial officer a very prime one is harassed in this manner and at the end of the day when we look at it we cannot even say this is the head and the tail of what is going on the addresses are mixed up the motives are not known we don't know if indeed which we refuse to believe that this even can be politically motivated because She's a judicial officer of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not a politician. She's very apolitical. And indeed, we don't even know what may happen if, since the EFCC are denied, other uh, 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 DSS are denied, and other security agencies have denied. We don't know the motives of the people who came here. We don't even know if they are genuine officers of the, uh, the various uh, uh, military and paramilitary agencies of Nigeria. In, in the circumstances, sir, will you be calling for more security for justice? Orderly? I wish to say this, that it behoves on the federal government of Nigeria to protect the 
all but one most senior judicial officer in the Federal Republic of Nigeria today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. In the back to you, here we are at a time of uh, high insecurity in the country. I think it's proper for security agents to identify themselves when they go on this kind of mission. On this note, I'd like to sign off. Over to you, Indy. Once again, Toby Shodi reporting for Arise TV. Good point you bring up there. Since now we do not understand the operatives who were there, who ordered them to go there, uh, it, it might look like a security breach for a lot of people, such as the family member you spoke to, for a senior member of the Nigerian uh, judiciary. Uh, but it is not the first time we are seeing such raids at, at the homes of electoral office, uh, of uh, judicial officers in Nigeria, Toby, is it? It is obviously not the first time. Since President Muhammad Ubuari assumed office as president, the home of high court, federal high court judges were raided. The home of Supreme Court justices were raided. So if we have to go by precedent, I think there is a hand of government in this, no matter how they try to deny it. Because there are precedents that we can cite. Like I said, I remember Justice Ademola of Federal High Court, the home were raided. Supreme Court justices, including the one that died recently, the home were raided. Their passports were six. Some were brought to trial. And we also remember the way the, the former CGN, uh, Justice Sonogan, was removed from office. So, head or tail, this have a trademark of government uh, officials. But now that they are denying, I probably think the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, will have to come out boldly to clarify the issues. Because this does not portray the government in good light. Yeah. Indy, over to you. Any further yeah, questions? Yeah, of for course, me? the side of the government. The question will be if the DSS was not involved, the ES, EFCC was not involved, you may not be able to answer this really. Uh, their name tags will show whether they are members of DSS or uh, the EFCC. Uh, we'll probably get that in the course of, uh, you know, uh, interviewing or the or the government even coming out to say what this was all about. But uh, like, like you said earlier, I guess we will leave it there um, and watch and see what gives. Because if it's not DSS, if it's not DSS, then the question will be, can the government or the security agencies involved then get on the ground and find out who and who did this and probably prosecute them or bring them to book? Indeed, well said, uh, Indy. I'm going to go. Toby, we'll let you go for now. Thank you so much. Uh, reporting there from the residence of Justice uh, Odili, wife of former governor, whose house was moments ago raided by uh, operatives of unknown agency as it stands because we've had agencies in Nigeria denying they sent the operatives there. We'll bring you development as they unfold on that situation. Yeah.